Hi, I'm Shandra Prophet. And I'm Jeremiah Prophet, and welcome to a very special episode of Prophet's Resurrection Land Cruisers TV. Today we're out here at Blakefield Airport because they were nice enough to let us use their runway so that we can demo this 1988 Stage 2 FJ62 restoration. <laughs> These are brand new. These aren't cheap bump stops, yet the O-ring is cracked. See the cracked O-ring? COVID. That's why. <laughs> Alright, so we have to leave these guys alone. We're not allowed to be in this circle because this vehicle is going to the SEMA show and uh, it has to be done in two weeks. Uh, two weeks from three days ago. And so I know the SEMA is not two weeks from three days ago, but SEMA is right after that. And there's this thing called Parkinson's Law. If you don't know what that is, you can Google it. This has to be done basically seven days, seven working days. So we're not allowed to be in this circle. Let's just move away. They're adding value, moving away, moving away. We don't see Alex, he's not there. Making it fit. Who's is this? Has a this is Lazada. Fancy sunroof. Yep. No. <laughs> Sunroofs are bad. Yeah. Especially in the convertible. An impromptu stop it. This is the impromptu stop it of the day. Stop putting sunroofs in your FJ40s. The end. Yeah. Game over. Yeah. I can't imagine that would be a good idea. Yeah. You have to take the top off. Yeah. 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 The uh, this guy in your new rain gutter. This rain gutter was. Completely rusted out. Yeah, it's gone. Yep. Pretty much fell off. Wow. See. <laughs> and this piece. And then we've talked about that. We did a how to on a, in a different episode. That was hot. Yeah. It's in nice. a different episode on the fancy rivets that Clint uses yeah. to put these together. Buck rivets. Buck rivets. All fine stuff. Are these new pieces that we order? Yeah. Yeah. From Toyota or no? That's from. Uh, I'm not sure where they come from. Is that? Is that real steel? Real steel. Did we get this from Real Steel or Cool Cruiser? Yeah, the rain gutter comes from Cool Cruiser of Texas. Texas. Uh-huh, and uh, in pieces, and you have to stitch it together. So you see Clint's splices, it comes in one, two, three, four, five, six pieces, seven pieces. Yep. And then we assemble it on an upside down, upside down on a, on a factory one, so it's in the exact same spot. And then he welds it together and attaches it with these fancy little itty bitty teeny umbrellas. Okay. Yep. Hand forms each one of these so they look stock. And then we cover the heads up with self leveling seam sealer. What you working on? Uh, Simon some steel door. So, I see that. that. So we put there. diesel fuel in there, right? Actual brown stain. Yes. <laughs> Unleaded fuel only. Yeah. Like little get out of that tag. Just in case you were to forget. Right. You can't put <laughs> diesel in an unleaded <laughs> car. Yeah, we Because the fuel the thing is too small. But you can put yeah, um, gas know, in a diesel the car. Like yeah. I know that. I have never put gas. Nope. I have never made that mistake because I was raised on a ranch and my dad. Like Tommy had a gas diesel. The difference between a diesel and a gas. We're gonna get to the action here in just a minute, but first let me tell you what we've done to this Land Cruiser. We started off with a completely stock Arizona FJ62 and gave it one of our full stage two restorations. By definition, that's a glass out doors off restoration where the body stays on the frame. The only difference between this and a factory FJ62 is the two part polyurea spray liner on the rockers and wheel wells. The owner also chose a period correct aftermarket roof rack. The suspension is a two and a half inch Old Man Emu lift and the tires are 331050 BFG all trains. The interior of this Land Cruiser is all new from top to bottom. We installed a suede leather headliner, covered the factory seats in two tone gray leather, 
and installed Dynamat and a new carpet kit. Other changes to this interior are the doubled in stereo, JL audio speakers, and a custom Tuffy console with a rotary shifter. If you follow us, you'll know that we do a lot of these R2.8s. This one is a little different. It has an 8 HP70 8 speed automatic. So now that Chandra's told you all about this restoration, it's time to get out there and see what it can do. I mean, I've been driving it for the last 400 miles, so I can tell you I'm really happy with the performance, but we haven't done anything that's sort of demonstrable and sort of just riding around in the car with a camera in the back. This seemed like the next most fun thing to do. So we're gonna take it out on the runway and see what it can do. But nobody likes to race against themselves. I mean, you have to have some competition, right? So I guess we'll put it up against the Diamondback. So to help drive the Diamondback, we've enlisted the help of a semi-professional virtual race car driver. Wait, wait, not this car, that car. Oh, you want to drive the faster car now? All right, let's switch cars. So you guys have to tell me what you think about the Diamondback. I mean, this FJ62 has definitely seen better days. I mean, it's been road hard and put away wet. It's been abused by probably more than one owner throughout its life. And I bought it from somebody who couldn't figure out how to get it out of four-wheel drive. It's because the vacuum actuator on the, uh, on the firewall was bad. But I mean, what do you do with a car like this? I'm asking you because I want your opinion. Like, clearly, this is too beat up to restore. You won't be able to tell that probably from this video, but the roof's caved in in lots of places. There's tons of rust. I mean, it is restorable, but the cost of restoring this one over another one is so much higher. Chances are it's not gonna be a restoration candidate. But I can't part the thing out. I mean, it's a titled 
drivable FJ62. I drove it from my house in Gunnison. We raced it on the racetrack. It actually did pretty good, you know, but it's a conundrum because there's a lot of Land Cruisers like this out there that are, you know, they shouldn't be parted out. It's a shame to take them off the road. Not nice enough to restore. Maybe I should sell this. Maybe it needs to be a daily driver for somebody. Can't take parts off of it though. What do you guys think? So that was fun. Even though the point of that whole exercise was not really to race um, a restored Land Cruiser with a Cummins diesel and an eight speed against a stock Land Cruiser uh, with a three FE and an A440. Uh, but it does give you some ideas of just how much better they perform. And more than that, practically speaking, um, I can tell you from just having thousands of miles in one of these that they just drive super well. I mean, they, they have the right amount of power for, for passing, for climbing hills. Uh, they don't feel unbalanced like, uh, like an LS3 and an MJ60 almost feels like too much power. Um, they feel just right. That's why we love the conversion. So it's been like a month since we filmed this episode and I'm standing here next to the Diamondback warming it up because that professional stunt driver that you guys saw forgot to record one of the important screenshots for a speed video. So now I'm gonna take it out and reproduce it so that uh, we can have accurate information. But the reason I'm adding this to the video is we just have an online uh, vehicle for sale section added to our website. And I wanna sell as many cars as I can by the end of the year uh, because it helps with your credibility as an automotive dealer. We just got our dealer's license. Um, and so I am going to sell the Diamondback and if you want to check it out, it's going to be on our website in the vehicles for sale section. It's not going to be very expensive. Famous car like the Diamondback, this is your chance to own it. Thanks again for watching this episode of Profits Resurrection Land Cruisers TV. That's right. If you like us, subscribe to the YouTube channel and as a special bonus feature for this one, if you get, if I get 50 comments about this video that tell me that they want to see me skydiving, they do it here. I'll skydive in the next episode or two. How about you? I'm not skydiving. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Also, if you, <laughs> if you're on social media, our Facebook is Resurrection Land Cruisers. Our Instagram is at Pro Cruiser. We're on Twitter, but who cares about that? Thanks for watching. He's not even landing, man. He's just practicing. Is he going to do more than one? I doubt it. The wind's are fixing to pick up. Oh, they won't play in the wind. What are your names? Madeline McCarty. Uh, my name is Roy Vreeland. <laughs> All right. Yeah, and we love Land Cruisers. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's true. My weapon yeah, of choice okay. is a GX. <laughs> uh, I'm driving right now, so it's a lot of fun.